Hello everyone, this is Chidanand from Crutch Info Tech NG. Welcome to this tutorial on Portainer Dashboard for monitoring a local Kubernetes cluster which is running on Minikube. Portainer is a container management software and amongst all other things that it provides, it gives a community edition of its software which can be used to monitor both Docker as well as Kubernetes. What I intend to demonstrate in this tutorial is how to set up a portainer dashboard for monitoring a local Kubernetes cluster which is running on Minikube. I am running Minikube on my Windows machine and uh, the version of Minikube that I am running is 1.31.2. In the background, I, I have Oracle VirtualBox which is used to power my Minikube. Again, it's kind of immaterial about what uh, you know, what versions of uh, Minikube that you're running and the underlying uh, environment. So this is what I'm running, and also let me just check the status of my Minikube. Right, it's up and running. Let me also show you what version of Kubernetes am I running. I'm running the latest. No, almost latest v1.28.0 version of Kubernetes. Also, I have enabled a bunch of add-ons. Let me just show you what all add-ons I have enabled. I have enabled something called as a dashboard, uh, which I'm shortly demonstrate. Kubernetes or rather Minikube gives a dashboard out of the box, which is not very, very appealing, but then it is there. So I'll also show you that, that I have enabled. I've also enabled something called as a metrics server. Now this is very important in order to grab more information about the resource usage on all the parts and if at all I had multiple nodes on all the nodes as well. So it's very very important to enable some sort of a metrics server so that you can grab all kinds of statistics regarding the workloads. So these two is what I have enabled. All right. So let me show you how to pull down something called as a chart. Okay, so Helm is the you know is a tool which is used for running charts. I also have Helm which is installed on my machine, and I've installed um, the version three dot ten dot two. That's the version of Helm that I have. Let me show you the default Minikube dashboard. So. You have to enable it in case you've not enabled it so you'll not be able to see that so i've enabled it and then i'll run this command minikube dashboard okay so it puts up nice dashboard using my default browser uh, in this case it is chrome uh, so you'll find some information about all the workloads that are running in the default name space if at all i go and check all the namespaces you'll find a lot more deployments pods and uh, you know a lot, lot of information is there uh, but uh, not very very appealing kind of a thing also let me just show you uh, the pod i think i've just started off a pod you'll find some information about what is this pod i am running a busy pod which is powered by busy box and uh, you know some of these keywords the quality of service and uh, where on which particular node is this running that all there is any volumes a bunch of things that can be shown here and um, you know what command was you know passed as an argument to this running part so this minikube dashboard gives you know kind quite an you know useful information but not the ui is not very very appealing so let me just show you how i could deploy something called as portainer which gives us a lot better ui and uh, you know the C edition is totally free and um, you can set it up in a matter of few minutes. I've documented all the steps that is required in order to install the charts in one of my GitHub repositories and I will provide the link of it in the description of uh, my video. So let me just go through that documentation and uh, quickly demonstrate how to set up or how to pull down a dashboard for um, using Portainer. All right, Helm repo add, add a repository which has got all the charts for Portainer. I'm just specifying a name for this particular 
a repository and uh, let me also search what charts are available in this but before that let me just do a quick oops helm repo update all right now i can search for all published charts that is available in this repository okay there's only one of them so you know i mean I have to do a little bit of a configuration change so i can either make it right here when i install it or i can pull down the chart so helm pull portainer forward slash portainer if i pull this chart a copy of whatever is published in this manifest is pulled down to my local repositories so let, let me just quickly show you what is there in this charts so c colon chart and this is the zip file so if at all i unzip it um tar hyphen xvf um, all right so it kind of unzips so this is the chart which has got a bunch of yml files i'm only interested in one of these values uh, which is i'll just check if at all the node port is good um, the portainer dashboard will be exposed as a node port ip which is uh, sorry node port which is pretty good for me uh, because i'm running minikube and uh, let me just check if there's any persistence yes persistence enabled okay i don't want this persistence to be enabled so either i can make it false right here and then run the chart or i can automatically do that as well okay so if at all i were to run this locally i can just make it false here save it all right and now i can install this local chart all right so i can either do that or if at all i were to do it using double hyphen set okay this is also another option before that let me just create a namespace it's better to put down all the installation that happen as a part of portainer into this namespace called portainer all right oops okay get namespace ns okay so there is this portainer namespace that is created so i can run a command like this to install a chart or i can do this in the namespace portainer this is good because i already have the local chart and uh, you know copy all right where is my local chart dot slash portainer okay so there are two different ways you can pull down the chart and make any configuration change that you would want if there are more configuration changes i would recommend pull down the chart and manually make those configurations otherwise if you know what exactly is the value that you would want to modify um, helm provides you on the dynamically in the run command you can specify or in the install command double hyphen set and you can modify any value uh, that you would want to modify all right so now my container that was powering my portainer probably is coming up so let me just check the pods um okay where is my pod this pod which is running in the portainer namespace i'll just give it a minute so that this pod comes up matter of a minute or two now the portainer pod is up and running if there's any problem with this particular pod you will notice that and you can run the describe command to find out what has gone bad all right so now uh, key get svc comma po in the namespace portainer okay so there is a pod that is up and running there's also a service that is created which is what we wanted in terms of it is a node port uh, ip all right so you know if at all it is not a node port ip then you know you'll have to have an ingress and then somehow find a way to get into your um, get into your cluster but for us here you know being minikube this is pretty good i can just run a command called minikube service uh, what is the name of my service portainer which is in the namespace portainer all right now you see it gives out the url this is the url what is more important if you know the node port is this particular port 
HTTP this particular let me copy this and uh, it has to be I think HTTPS all right it doesn't have any certificates which are signed that is why you know we get this message all right so the first time you're logging in you're supposed to create the password which is 12 characters long now let me provide that okay and i'll want this all right now you see the portainer ui that has come up it started this is the live environment let me connect to it and uh, there you go you have a very very nice um dashboard that comes up which shows you all the application that is running the ingresses that is present the config map secret volumes whatever information that you would possibly want from your running cluster in terms of the workload there are a few of these features which are reserved for the business edition or a paid version but for all practical purposes the C edition is pretty good enough and what I really liked more about is you can find the statistics the logs the console okay so all this anyway it grabs it it'll take a time you know it'll take some time for it to refresh uh, but then once all this comes up it's very nice to take a look at this particular ui where you know starting from the logs uh, latching on to the particular container that is running well within the pod you can go to the um, shell and you can connect as long as you're running a pod that is powered by some sort of an operating system where you can get into that particular uh, pod you can you know you can run whatever uh, commands that you, you you would know i mean this is the way you would possibly get into a particular uh, pod okay so everything is up and running in a matter of few commands just waited for a bit and uh, you will see the uh, trend of the memory usage as well as cpu usage as of now there's nothing much running in that pod uh, but please note that this is real-time information we are not uh, persisting the data anywhere because the way we have configured our uh, dashboard is that we do not want to persist any data. Right? If at all that is not the case, you may want to explore some sort of a persistent volume where you would want to dump all this information. But then assuming that it is a mini cube, which is a local cluster, probably you're more interested in just looking at what is happening as of now. Okay, so this dashboard is as simple as, uh, you know, to set it up. And there's a lot of other things as well. If you go to the applications, you can create something from, um, you know, you can create an application from a manifest. Uh, there's a lots and lots of other options are available from a free edition. I think this is a pretty useful kind of a tool in my personal opinion. Of course, uh, this has also got a business edition where a lot more features are available for you to try out and play around. But this whole objective of mine was just to quickly use a bunch of uh, Helm commands to pull out a chart and uh, connect that with our mini queue and uh, get the cluster dashboard up and running. I hope you found this tutorial useful and uh, anybody who wants to try this out, I will leave the GitHub repository documentation which has got all the commands that I ran in my demo. And as usual, in case you get stuck, kindly leave a comment and I'll try to address it as soon as I can. Thank you so much for your time and you have a great day.